Good morning, my friends. It is Friday, December 29th, the fifth day of Christmas out of the 12. Here I have our Christmas wreath, which was our Advent wreath, all lit, full of light. And our last day with this beautiful, beautiful Austrian plate with Mary and Jesus. Gazing up at heaven together as one bonded in life and in their devotion to God. One of the most important relationships, well, the most important relationship in all of human history between a human mother and a son who was divine and human. A love that surpassed all other human loves and probably does still. During this Christmas season, we are in the Gospel of John, and today we have the first miracle at a wedding in Cana of Galilee. I want to focus today on the relationship between Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Jesus, because this relationship differs in the Gospels. In the Gospel of John, we begin that relationship at this wedding, where Mary is the one to urge Jesus to do the miracle. She gives him this look and says, they have no wine. And he says, woman, what have you to do with me? In other words, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I'm not ready. And then she just says to the servants, do whatever he tells you. So it's her, at her nudging that he begins acting like the son of God. In the synoptic gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, Mary, um, when Jesus becomes an adult, with some of his brothers and sisters, try to track him down and accuse him of having a demon and bring him home. So it's a very different relationship. She's trying to stop him from doing miracles. Was there some of both in her relationship with him? Probably. These gospel people are telling us different aspects of the story. Probably like many mothers, sometimes she was encouraging him and sometimes she was holding him back. In the Gospel of John alone, she's at present at the cross. In the other Gospels, she is not. And John, the beloved disciple, Jesus asks him to take care of her. And in the Johannine tradition, she lives on for many years with John and moves to the city of Ephesus. What happened to Mary? What was it like to have Jesus as her son? Was she always awake and aware of who he was, or did she get into a period of denial for a while? We'll never know the full extent of their relationship, except that it was one of great love, and like all relationships between parents and children, sometimes some tension. They loved each other, they struggled together, and she bore the Son of God, so in many ways was the most incredible human being ever to walk this earth. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for Mary, for this young woman who became pregnant before marriage, who bore the Son of God, who then had many more children for her strength, for her agony when she watched him suffer, for her deep love, we give you thanks. Bless the sick today, Lord Christ, and those who mourn, those who are dying, the hungry, the addicted, the mentally ill. Bring peace to our world. Help us in our struggles with our family members to choose love and acceptance. We ask you, Lord, to guide us today, to give us a reverence for this beautiful earth that you have given us. Call us to be kind, true, and wise today. We thank you for the gift of your Son in this, your Christmas season. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.